Hello traders, this is Pierre here, your trading coach at PFX. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the market for the upcoming week using major support and resistance level where we do expect the market to give us some trading opportunities. So while I wrote the interim disclaimer, please hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys, as I said in the um, intro of this video, uh, the weekly overview, uh, we're going to be using the major support and resistance level to be able to um, predict what may happen in the market and uh, especially using the major levels will uh, help us to trade only the um, good trades filter out noise in the market and uh, filter out bad trades so we have the dixie us dollar here and i will do this uh, from the beginning with you here and um, we will continue with the rest of the charts uh, on my um, on my watch list or for you this week so uh, this is going to be an example for you to uh, how I uh, use my uh, major levels of support and resistance how I draw them on uh, the Dixie and uh, the rest uh, of course uh, going to be pre-marked already but you could use the same rules what's most important for me when I mark my um, support and resistance level um, are the weekly uh, levels sometimes I look at the monthly and see if we have uh, some good level to uh, put on the chart for example this area here that it is uh, from here is clear that the market reacted very strongly to the downside and that the retest did hold on that level so it's very important to me how the market is leaving those areas below that we have another level that we could use and this is uh, this area down here yeah so these areas are also a pretty good um, support level in my opinion we have another level here where um, this base happened here and uh, the market left very strongly to the upside but as I said, what's most interesting uh, to start with for me is uh, that I start with the weekly. So this is still a good level. We have uh, this couple of uh, tests here uh, showing good resistance and that they did act as uh, support as well after that. Uh, we have this area down here that I could also use as a possible um, area of uh, support based on these tests I try to get as many um, touches as possible so in my opinion uh, this area is an interesting level to have on my chart uh, for the Dixie for the example now one very important thing that do not see the support and resistance as uh, just one line these are areas or zones that we are gonna use these zones are where we want to see uh, our bullish or bearish evidence so for the moment this uh, these are uh, the major levels that i would put on my chart on the weekly i would also use uh, this our uh, previous high as well as uh, an important level since looking left it was tested here tested here and even here so this area here around this level we had also many times the market using this area as support and resistance so of course that gonna be also on my chart then I go down to the daily and start fine-tuning those um, areas and see if I have uh, missed anything and actually um, it's looking good all I need to know uh, why this is not showing so let's put the daily on that uh, one as well and uh, even on the area to see uh, even on the daily when we go now down to the daily time frame we're gonna still see uh, this uh, resistance level we have so as you see 
that's it for me those are uh, the major levels we have in the market then what i want to do uh, as well is uh, start looking at the market structure so in this case uh, coming from these lows what's been going on yeah we've been making higher highs and higher lows in this market higher highs equal low to then put another higher high and here we start seeing something different yeah so after this higher low here uh, the market did not give us a higher high we did a try here a try here and even here we didn't get a higher high to keep saying that we will continue higher so what happened here on the Dixie we start getting lower highs yeah so this was like an equal high we had here uh, to previous structure and all of a sudden we start moving lower and uh, we have our um, first major low breaking uh, this area here of uh, support and resistance what resistance here start acting support uh, many times to then breaks below it and here we are today so last week we had sideways uh, on the Dixie on Thursday we broke above previous high which was a possible signal for continuation that we should maybe start looking for a retest to this broken structure and a continuation considering this will be a uh, higher low another higher low and continuation now that did not happen on friday so the friday candle was a strong bearish engulfing breaking below previous lows breaking below uh, this structure level yeah so what i'm thinking right now since we have now this uh, major swing low that we probably have another lower high in the daily and maybe a continuation to the downside because if we look at uh, this market now we we've been doing something like this we've we've been doing lower high lower low uh, sorry a lower low here a lower high here another lower low another lower high and another major lower low followed by a possible lower high so the question is are we going for a continuation of this move to the downside so what i will be doing here on this chart i will mark this last previous low as my uh, key support level because uh, this is our last low and for this market to continue to the downside we need to break this uh, key support now because this is a clear level that acted uh, nicely in the past we did hold at it and this is our um, last previous low we have so of course we're gonna keep an eye on that area so for the Dixie, in my opinion, there is a possibility that we move down, test this low here. And uh, this is when we start looking to maybe take profit or look to see if we're going to have another bounce to the upside from this area. For more downside on the Dixie, I want to see a break below this key support level, a retest that failed to hold above this area, and then that will could that could be our signal to test another major weekly support yeah you remember this level we marked this level on the weekly chart and we know it is a pretty interesting area of support and resistance so this what i'm looking for uh, for the dixie for next week and that how i draw my level and that how i follow these structure levels of higher highs and higher lows or vice versa so for the dixie right now if we mark this area once again where we broke last week so where uh, we broke this level that been acting as good resistance and support in the past we broke previous low here we broke this whole area and uh, the question is are we uh, getting um, some kind of correction or retest of this structure before a continuation to the downside after breaking uh, this trend line uh, what we could also use is a possible Fibonacci retracement if this was our last low and the market start uh, making that correction I see the area where we have the 38.2 and the previously broken structure as a good possible level to look for a sell and for a continuation on this market and once again in this case we won't be looking at 
this area down here as our first possible level of trouble our first level to maybe take some profit and uh, look to see if you can have a bounce to the upside or if the market gonna break and continue lower this is the most interesting part on this chart for next week well now you maybe say what will make you change your mind and uh, start thinking about being bullish on the dollar well in that case since we uh, broke below this low here in that case i want to see a break above this previous high to happen so a break above the 9670 uh, 9670 area need to be broken for me to start considering possible continuation to another major uh, resistance level and why is this a major resistance level because in the past we tested this once here we could not reach it and here we tested it once again and we've got a very strong push to the downside from that area so it is of course a clear uh, resistance level that we should be looking at everything in between here is noise everything in between here this empty areas is noise so we try to trade from um, major levels only to get uh, the best uh, trade opportunities okay so as I said um, I've done this uh, from scratch with you to show you how I mark my level and see that every time the market leave a level in a strong way that is a good and uh, possible support or resistance level as you see here we left very strongly to the upside here we left very strongly to the upside and we've got rejected many times uh, up here in this area so the rest of the charts they pre-marked and uh, we're gonna continue with our weekly overview based on those major levels so um, our next chart is gold and uh, done the same thing used the mar the levels where the market previously tested as good support and resistance as you see and we have many tests uh, at those areas looking at these areas see how the market testing these levels as support areas many times and then our last leg to the upside here on the daily what we have is here was our initial low higher high higher low another higher low, high and so on so we keep pushing higher making higher highs and higher lows and i think all of you remember this consolidation period that we i've been talking about in my weekly overviews we have this consolidation for like two weeks or so and uh, the market uh, tried to break below it last week and it did hold a support and on friday we got this huge sell uh, sorry huge sell on the dollar huge buy on the gold and we broke above this uh, <clears throat> interesting uh, resistance level so now we do have another higher high but <clears throat> just above that we have a pretty interesting area of support and resistance at the uh, 1307 here if we look left we see coming back from this areas this uh, level been acting strongly as good uh, support and resistance so what i'm looking for to see if this market now uh, or gold um, next week if this gonna react and start going to the downside or if we're gonna break here um if that break happened we have uh, this area as a possible market objective so a break here could signal a possible continuation to at least test this level up here but before we talk about any break we should be looking for a possible uh, bounce from this level because <clears throat> if we look at the rsi right now on the daily from these highs um, and on the rsi from this high down to this day we have a bearish divergence already and uh, when we go down to four hour time frame you see that this was a pretty extended move at the overbought territory here and um, yeah we are soon at that resistance level so what i'm looking for as first a possible uh, reaction or some kind of rejection at this level maybe push back down to test this uh, broken structure could be a uh, possible idea to push back down retest this level and then we maybe start looking for another bounce but to be more sure to the upside as i said earlier you want to see this 
break out and then that the retest hold above it and that will give you uh, that signal for continuation to the upside on gold um, oil if we also go to the daily you see that we marked also our major support and resistance level and this was our last low before the bounce and you see the bounce down here did come from also an interesting support level that been tested many times in the past and um, yeah we broke above uh, this area here minor area of uh, resistance and now we are heading toward um, a major level where uh, been tested here a couple of times as resistance back here and here retested at support so here as well it act as a little bit of support before it got break and retested so the uh, 55 area up here is a pretty interesting level a possible market objective to reach that level i still think this market uh, could reach uh, toward this level before any bounce to the downside for more upside we want to see this level broken strongly and then that will uh, signal possible continuation to the upside but as first see that as a possible uh, resistance level because I think there is a possibility that we test this area and then maybe uh, start consolidating back down here uh, so something like this is possible um, to start going sideways inside this channel is also a possibility but down here the 50 level is a uh, strong and good buy level in my opinion if we reach that and we're still in a possible uh, bullish momentum and you should uh, watch that 55 as possible market objective uh, to reach uh, next week EURUSD also a pretty interesting chart i have also only the major support and resistance level here from the weekly on the, and the daily and um, yeah as you see we've been going sideways down here now for a while uh, this interesting area as you see coming from back here tested here many times still holding as good support and the friday after uh, the Draghi, uh, Mr. Draghi speech uh, on Thursday, we pushed uh, down to retest this level and Friday we had this uh, huge uh, buying for the Euro, uh, ending the day with a very strong bullish engulfing candle breaking above pre previous high. So there is a possible um, bounce from this level the longer term um, target uh, should be to retest uh, these highs up here could be a longer term market objective but before that as you see here this area here could also give us some trouble on the way so we're gonna see that on a lower time frame support and resistance so on the four hour you see that i mark this area here as a possible support uh, and resistance area because it's been tested and uh, acted as support on this particular time frame many times and on the four hour as well we broke above previous high here so the question is uh, are we gonna get some kind of correction before a continuation to the upside so we go down to the one hour time frame and on that time frame i added another support level that we we could use and this is this area here as you see every time we test this level we bounced pretty strongly to the upside so what we're gonna do next week is to uh, take a Fibonacci retracement up to this high here and uh, if this was our last high that could be uh, the level to uh, put your um, Fibonacci retracement from and I see this 50% happen to be at uh, exactly at that uh, support level we have on the one hour so in my opinion for the EURUSD a correction back down here to this area could be a level to start looking for bullish evidence and maybe a continuation from this level to first market objective now the market uh, may also just make a retest to this broken structure and continue higher that could happen uh, we could never be sure where the market may stop so um, if that to be a shallow correction to 23.6 
that is possible and it would not be the first time we see when the market in a strong momentum do a shallow correction but is pretty sure that this market moved strongly and we may got, uh, get uh, Monday as a possible sideways days uh, day as well so keep an eye even on this level here uh, for a possible bounce from this area uh, sterling USD also uh, pretty strong and uh, even here we talk only about major levels so uh, as you see we uh, broke above uh, this level here that been acting as good uh, support uh, in the past here support here here it was not pretty respected as much but now it is broken uh, high here broke above this high as well and if we put the 200 daily moving average that also got broken as you see so uh, the market objective here should be to reach this major resistance level as you see here this is a pretty interesting level where i'm expecting if reach it or when reach it to have a bounce from that level to the downside is possible so if you're holding along start looking to take some profit at this level um, on the four hour time frame you see it clearly that we uh, making higher highs and higher lows and how we breaking above these highs so if uh, this market to correct down before reaching that market objective that could be a pretty good level to try to find a buy at at around 1.3050 uh, that could be a possible level to look for uh, a buy targeting this area up here on the sterling of course for more upside for the sterling we want to see a break above this level to then open the way for more upside toward the next uh, possible uh, market target up here okay but uh, let's take this one step at a time first off you want to see this level broken for more upside usd jp <clears throat> looking on the daily we see that after the flash crash i've been mentioning mentioning this uh, 108 level as a important level to look for retest and continuation and we've got that and when uh, that happened i was mentioning the 110 as possible market objective now we reached that level last week we tried to uh, test and break it uh, on friday it couldn't and we got rejected one more time on this important level as you see testing back this uh, previous support that may act uh, resistance right now and uh, if we go down to lower time frame we start seeing some clear divergence on the rsi as you see here lower uh, lows going on the rsi while the market was putting slightly higher highs so we have this triple top scenario and possible break of this trend line could mean a possible move toward 109 which could act as possible support once again a break below 109 could signal more downside but look at uh, the 109 firstly as a possible uh, support or at least short term support because this could give you another bounce all the way up to 110 because that happened previously as well and of course we need to keep an eye on gold and uh, the stock market to see um, some kind of correlation to know how this will play uh, as well <clears throat> in any case for more upside for the uj you want to see the 110 clearly broken on a daily candle to then start looking for more upside on the currency as for now it is a resistance and it is a sell level usd cat also uh, looking at the daily time frame we see that we tested this interesting level of possible resistance the uh, correction um, up here was toward uh, let me take this extension so far so we've done a correction of uh, 38.2 fibonacci retracement as you see up here and uh, in my uh, weekly overview last week uh, we were talking about this channel to look for a break of the channel or if the market reach uh, this uh, 38.2 Fibonacci and previous uh, res uh, support and resistance area to look for sales now uh, the sell-off happened from this area we broke the uh, flag and uh, we should be looking for a possible continuation to at least this level down here the 
area down here is major um, interesting support and um, if that broken to the downside uh, there is a potential continuation uh, all the way to complete this a b c d move to the downside yeah so um, first off if you short on cad already look for uh, some profit taking at this level uh, some uh, trouble on this level maybe a short term bounce uh, but if broken then there is a possibility for a continuation of this ABCD scenario and we do have a nice Fibonacci extension at the completion of this level if we take from A down to B back to A here you see that the 1.618 Fibonacci extension happened to be at that level so pretty interesting area for a uh, possible completion of the uh, pattern but first off, look to see if we're gonna break below here or not. Aussie USD, since we broke above this um, very old uh, trend line, we broke above it here, kept pushing higher. We start thinking for about continuation, but we never got that. We start moving lower again to test uh, the level here, broke that, and on the flash crash, as you see, we tested a almost a last line of defense here as you see we could we need to go far back in the chart to 2009 to see lower levels so we tested uh, this low from um, january 2016 to then uh, strongly push back up breaking previous highs putting uh, a test of uh, this area here to then correct to the downside and Friday was a pretty strong push from this level so my expectation on this now after breaking this trend line that the market objective should be to at least reach this level up here before some kind of correction once again uh, for more upside I want to see this level broken and if that happened then we may start thinking about a retest of uh, uh, this area up here around uh, 0 0.7400 okay so on one hour time frame you see it clearly a pretty nice um, cup and handle bottom uh, pattern sorry um, this is the cup we broke uh, the neck of it and uh, the question is if we're gonna get some kind of correction back down to this uh, structure here um, if this was to be our last high, then we could draw a Fibonacci retracement on that, like this. And as you see, the first Fibonacci uh, retracement of 38.2 happened to be at this structure level. So this is the first area to look at for a possible buys, where we also have the broken trend line to maybe uh, get retested and the second levels to buy at and the better one would be a retracement to 618 and the broken neckline here this is also a pretty interesting area to look for a possible buy at if we get a correction lower i'm not expecting a deep correction on monday i'm expecting sideways on monday shallow correction to the but uh, going sideways uh, tuesday and forward we maybe start seeing some nice movement um, usd chief also we have three important level the major low here from this bounce and the major highs here a pretty interesting area of resistance i think the market objective is to reach this resistance but uh, that we may get some correction to the downside before that um, any correction back down to, toward this level could be a good uh, level to look for bullish evidence and if you want to short this uh, for a short term correction move if you want to trade that correction move there is a possibility to do so now after breaking below this uh, previous low here and having uh, like lower highs here and now we have this lower low there is a possible uh, reversal pattern here and um, that you should be looking to target uh, this area down here yeah you see it on the one hour why i have this level on my chart many times in the past been acting as good support and resistance so to down here before a bounce to the upside once again 
New Zealand USD let's go to the daily you see that we are testing a pretty interesting uh, flip zone of both support and resistance um, so where the market is testing right now is a key level uh, for this market to keep pushing higher we need to see a break above previous high a break and close above this could signal a possible continuation to toward this high and maybe even higher if that got broken okay but as first uh, look at this as a possible resistance and it that it may give you a short term bounce from here looking left you see on the four hour why this level is important we do have a uh, possible ABCD pattern as you see the correction here uh, happened toward uh, 618 and uh, if we draw our equal measured move here on uh, on this one coming from this a to b here and we clone that projected on the chart we see that we have a possible a b c d completion with uh, a uh, fibonacci extension here to see if we have any uh, nice confluence and we had the 1.414 Fibonacci um, uh, extension at this level. So this is a pretty uh, interesting um, uh, pattern to trade. Um, we've got a nice bullish engulfing, but this is only uh, the last hour of Friday. And after such a very strong push on a Friday, this is could be only profit taking the last hour of Friday. Um, so this uh, does not mean uh, need to mean that we have new beers entering the market this could only be profit taking so what i'm looking for on the one hour time frame is actually some more downside and hopefully give me some kind of double top pushing back up making some uh, double top with some bearish divergence on the rsi uh, to um, to try to take the trade a bullish in a bearish engulfing candle would be nice to have as kicker here so that is the scenario i'm waiting for on this one and this is a counter trend trade so you should not be targeting a big target and usually when you trade this pattern you want to target uh, a fibonacci retracement of 38.2 as target one 618 as target two of uh, the cd leg okay so uh, this uh, trade could be looking something like uh, depends on when we get our entry depends on if we get any chance to short it double top uh, head and shoulder formation uh, you should be uh, in any case uh, if your entry was somewhere like uh, here or uh, something like that uh, stop loss of course above uh, previous highs to take first target at 38.2 second target 618 to then close the whole trade because this could just keep pushing higher once again in a continuation uh, move new zealand cat uh, as you see also testing a pretty interesting area after bouncing from this uh, major support on the daily you see why we have this level on the chart and uh, we've been testing here before and got rejected and last week we tested uh, with with uh, without breaking above it so this is up here our resistance to look for a possible uh, bounce back down and this down here is our support as for now this is uh, these are the levels to play uh, for more upside of course we want to see a break above here happening um, for more to the upside so on the four hour you see it more clearly what i want to um, know here is this our higher low to then keep pushing above or just a uh, push and then going down here um, this trade if you want to short it i think you want to see the break below this structure happening to be more sure of it so if you short this you need to see a break below this happening then you may reach this target and uh, for more upside a break above this could mean we're going to test the highs once again before that we have some trouble areas to watch as a minor resistance level at this at this area so keep that in mind
Okay, so uh, yeah, that was uh, it for um, this week, guys. Uh, I hope you like these uh, videos. And if you do, do not forget to hit that like button for me and uh, see you next week. Yeah, bye bye.